Sagittarius, Aditi here with Lodestone Productions, where we help you discover your true north. Well, welcome to your reading for the month of March. And just bear in mind that this is a general read, so not everything is going to resonate with everyone. Just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Also, spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum, so the only time by which we tell time is divine time. And dig what I'm saying? So we've got a new setup here. I'm going to do overall energies here, clarification here, and I will pick another deck at random for some final messages and or summary. So let's get this party started, shall we? So first thing, prosperity lies ahead. Taurus, new moon, in Taurus. Prosperity lies ahead. Okay. Oh, now bear in mind, I do not read reversals. So if you see me turning cards over, that is why. We've got the Wheel of Fortune, the Queen of Wands, Two of Pentacles, the Death card, the Devil card, Ten of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Three of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles. Good Lord, the Five of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. Hmm. All right. So, prosperity lies ahead. It looks like we are at the end of a karmic cycle, much like the rest of us. It seems pretty, pretty, um, Par for the course and then with the Queen of Wands here you're actually gonna like where this wheel is turning okay now with the two of Pentacles followed by the death card this is you actually accepting the change and making making moves to this new beginning that is represented by the death card okay and then we've got the devil here with the ten of cups so um, the devil card can represent compulsive thoughts, self-destructive behavior, but it can also represent letting your hair down, indulging just a little bit. Um, you hear the phrase um, playing the devil's advocate. Well, you know, let's look at something a little bit differently. It's uh, shaking up, shaking up, I'm hearing shaking up the status quo. Shaking up the status quo, huh? All right. And then we've got the Ten of Cups here. So there is a long-term emotional stability here once this death and rebirth happen. Because this really could be, this could be shaking up the status quo. This could also mean making the choice to turn away from this destructive behavior so that you do have long-term emotional stability and happiness. Uh, the Four of Cups is a card of, well, eh, like they call it luxury. Like, yeah, bitch, we got cups, we got milk, we got cookies, and we got milk. And I... I don't what, what's what's the big deal like that like you see dude over here isn't even paying attention he's on his phone this guy is you know lounging watching television and in the midst of all of these cookies and half like you've got spilled milk over here got spilled milk over here and these other two glasses don't have much in them but then there's that one cup right up front that one cup it's just like hey and you see how it's illuminated like spirits like hey I got a I got a blessing for you you gonna you gonna pay attention you gonna you gonna see it you don't you don't you don't see it because if you've got an opportunity for resources to come in and start you you got an opportunity to start building some more right there's 
there's an upswing. There's an upswing here. That is more than likely is going to be ushered in by this Ace of Cups that is currently being missed. Because with the with the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles is they're they're like the bookkeeping clerk. They know that there's a lot of work that's going to need to be done. And they are perfectly happy with doing, doing the work because they know that with this, with this page of pentacles, you, you progress on and we're talking about like king of pentacles and ace of pentacles. Like this is, this is doing the inventory on resources, right? inventory so you've got a gift oh there we go all right so you've got this gift from spirit that can actually grow into something major as long as you take stock of of what you actually have Leaving no stone unturned, I'm hearing. Leaves no stone unturned. You see that this, here, the Page of Pentacles is depicted as the kindergarten teacher, which, you know, takes me back to no child left behind. This is like, it's dirty work, it's meticulous work, it's slow going, but it's worth it, right? You're going to, the work is inevitable. Five of Wands. Work is inevitable. However, comma, with the Ace of Pentacles here, it's going to, this work is going to yield positive results. It will require a lot of, it will require a lot of mental energy, however with this king of swords he's the king of swords is logic the king of swords is logic personified it needs to make sense it needs to make sense hmm. so let's further clarify King of Swords here. Let's clarify the King of Swords as it pertains to the Ten of Cups and the prosperity that lies ahead. Clarify the King of Swords as it pertains to prosperity lying ahead, please. Make it clear and make it plain. Make it plain and make it clear, please and thank you. And thank you. Thank you. Ten of Swords. Please and thank you. Judgment. Oh, that, that's too much. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Please clarify the King of Swords as it pertains. Prosperity line ahead. Please and thank you.
right, spirit. All right. So, prosperity lies ahead. We have got a couple of big endings here. So, here we go with this Wheel of Fortune, right? And this, this faded event, this big change that's on its way, right? And we already had... We already had the Ten of Cups show up. So, Tens reflect a cycle being done. And here we have the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. So, the Ten of Swords is mental anguish. The Ten of Wands is physical anguish. You are at the end of this type of energy here. Also, also clarified by the world card. There is a cycle that is complete. A cycle that is complete here. Okay, let me say that. Let me say that one more time. There is a cycle that is complete. Okay, new stuff, new stuff, new stuff. New Sagittarius, who it is, right? There's been, there has been a spiritual judgment that has been cast. And again, with the Two of Pentacles, you are going to make positive changes. This is the same card, different deck. Hashtag, like I said, come through, spirit. Both of these are the same card. The Two of Pentacles in each deck. Okay, you're making effective change and it is bringing in the end of this cycle that wasn't working for you, otherwise you wouldn't have made the change, right? So with this five of wands and the two of swords, you have decided to defend this new way of doing because you want to come to an end to this foolishness here. You are accepting the judgment from on high that this cycle is done and you are ready for something new. 100% ready for something new because you know that that something new is going to be beneficial to you and yours. I am here for this. All right, Sagittarius. Okay, so thank you. For spending time with me today and until we meet again remember to be good to yourselves and to each other and I will see you all next time bye Sagittarius